You're watching, old mates. Backyard Tech. All right. I don't believe we've done an old mates Q&A and advice video regarding this topic. Actually, I don't believe we've done an old mates Q&A and advice video regarding the Commodore yet. Or if we have, I've answered it previously. Or maybe I haven't. I don't think so. I don't. I don't think. Well, we know I don't think. That's that's common knowledge. I don't believe I've done a direct old mate's Q and A and advice video regarding the Commodore or a particular aspect of it. If that makes sense to anybody, tell me what I just said. <laughs> anyway, it is old mate's Q and A and advice time here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, and this is an email. And I don't know why I didn't see this, but it's an email from a couple of weeks ago now regarding the head unit in the Commodore. Viewers asked Old Mate a very simple question. Am I replacing it? The short answer and the long answer is no. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is Old Mate's Q&A and advice time here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech combined with a Commodore video to kick off weekend Sunday's content. And I've had emails from this viewer in the past because I spoke about this, I think, when I had the 80 uh, a few years ago now. And uh, I don't know why I didn't see this email earlier, but this came in at the, oh, the end of June a couple of weeks ago now. Uh, this is from Terry. We're on the phone for this one, guys. Um, hi there, Old Mates Backyard Tech. Unfortunate to see you're not making 80 series videos anymore. I have a... I have a... Blah. I have a question for you. You've often stated in your 80 series videos that one of the first things you've done when you've bought second-hand cars and you did it with the 80 was to replace the head unit. Now you've got the Commodore with a factory head unit. Are you going to replace the head unit with a Pioneer head unit or replace the head unit at all. From Terry. Um, okay. Shock horror. We discovered a while ago that when I bought the Commo, I did not get the four digit pin code to that Blaupunkt made by Bosch six speaker single stack head unit. Unfortunate, I know, but I did not get the pin code for it. Now, I know I've done this in the past, and that is one of the first things I do when I buy another car, second hand, is chuck out the head unit. However, right at this particular point in time, due to extenuating factors, it is an exceptionally low priority. Now, the thing is, I know this sounds a bit weird, and I'm going to get held on for this. All six speakers in the Commodore are working, and the head unit works. What I ended up doing was getting a Bluetooth FM transmitter kit, and job done. Now, should the head unit let go, then yes, I will replace it. And yes, it will be with a Pioneer, either single or double DIN, I don't know. But at this particular moment, I'm not too worried. It's not a high priority. Um, often when I've bought second-hand cars, which I've had a few, the head units in them have been shot. They're stuffed from the get-go. And in that scenario, yeah, the first thing I go and do is straight up replace the head unit. I did it with the 80. I did it with my other Commodore. I did it with uh, my first ever car, my second car, my third car. Um, my buzz box was a similar issue to what I've got with the Commodore. Um, the VW van that I was using with the parents' business, couldn't replace the head unit anyway. Wasn't allowed to. Um, but, yes, you're right, Terry, I have replaced head units in, in my previous vehicles. The only reason I have not done it with the Commodore is number one, the head unit still works. And honestly, 
Okay, my Vic viewers will understand this. Um, some of my Aussie viewers may get it in the fact that I listen to 3AW here in Melbourne, which broadcasts down to Geelong as well. And if I want music, I can listen to a couple of stations, local stations, or I just Bluetooth the phone. Okay. Um, for my international viewers, uh, that is Talkback Radio. Although not in the same vein as American Talkback. Um, but anyway, similar umbrella, shall we say. If the head unit in the Commodore does decide to crap itself, then yes, I will replace it. But at the moment, the priority of that is so far down the list, it's not worth me even thinking about. So short answer, Terry, is at the moment, no. Not replacing it. Don't need to. It still works. It's perfectly fine for what I listen to. Uh, we know, look, for those of us who've been around Holden long enough, their factory head units have never exactly been much to write home about. Um, I don't know, my US viewers, particularly if you're a GM person, uh, the Chev head units, Buick head units, Cadillac head units, what have you, let us know. But generally speaking, factory head units in Holden have not always been, as I said, fantastic. But... With the Commo, see, I listen to um, Nine Radio or the Nine Nine Entertainment, which owns Channel Nine and Nine Radio. Um, for Nine Radio, it's Three AW here in in Melbourne, and down here there's a couple of local um, radio stations, FM radio stations, that play Top Forty garbage. Seriously. Um, so I can either listen to that, or as I said, I've got a Bluetooth kit in the car, and I'll just stream stuff off the phone, either music I've got on the phone or, you know, what have you, SoundCloud, whatever. So from that point of view, yeah, at this stage, no, I have no intention on replacing the head unit um, unless one of two things happen. The head unit craps itself entirely, or it gets to the stage where I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to replace it straight up. There's the deal. So, unfortunately, yeah, I did not get the pin code. I rang a company in Geelong to find out how much it would be to actually get the four-digit code for my particular Blau Punked made by Bosch head unit, and I nearly had a coronary. $240. So, there we go. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. So, Terry, yes, you're right. I have replaced head units, but at the moment, it's not a real high priority. I haven't even really given it a thought as to which Pioneer double din head unit I'd replace it or whether I do a single din with an insert underneath. It's, it's not a huge thing I need to worry about. But as I said, if the head unit finally craps itself, yes, then I am in a position I have to replace it. But at the moment, yeah, leaving it. There we go. Stick around up next. Time to get into some server PC stuff. Mm -hmm. 